So uh, today we got this um, Dell Dimension 3000 in the new workshop back here. I've set up a new little workshop area. Uh, so I'm going to show you an interesting thing that happens with this. So the system works, but let me plug it in. See that the other fan goes. The power supply fan is stuck. So uh, I'll try to fix that eventually, but for now just so I can use the computer, I can finish testing it out. Um, I have an old power supply on hand that we're going to switch into this system, so. Uh, yeah, so let's get started doing that. So, move everything out of the way that I have down here. I'm still setting up back here, but um, we're gonna go ahead and lay down the tower. Samsung Sync Master monitor. Uh, so we're gonna unplug all the cables. Oh, let me see if I can get a good spot for the tripod. So uh, we're gonna go and unplug all the cables inside the system. Uh, 24 pin motherboard connector. And we're gonna open up the clear duct. I hate these things, they're so. They're so weird, but they're annoying at times to work on. And we're gonna go ahead and uninstall the four pin or unplug the four pin connector. We might have to remove the entire fan assembly just to get this out. You can see, I think it's stuck in there. So. Okay, well, that was pretty easy. stuck around the cap. Uh, surprisingly, there are no bad caps on this motherboard, so it's pretty interesting. So, sorry for the terrible audio quality. I don't actually have a mic back here yet. Uh, we're just going rough video for today of working on this 2400. Or 2400. I want the 2400. This one's the 3000. Close enough. Just got a faster Pentium 4 in it, so that's it. I got some of these vintage machines. Mm -hmm. I kept my fingernails a little bit long here so we can cut things open with them. Right kind of better today, cut them off. But so now I should be able to. There we go. Out comes this. Okay, how comes that power supply? There we go in. We have this. Uh, it's not the best power supply on the planet, but it's a. Okay, so I just found out that I need to get a different tripod because. Uh, yeah, okay. Probably had a subtitle on there, but the camera just fell off the table, so it's a fun, always a fun experience when that happens. So, um, anyway, that's just a cheap power supply that we're going to be chucking in here. Hopefully it fits. It should. It's just a standard NTX system. There we go. All right. Yeah, all right, that fits. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in our four pin connector. It happily fits down in there. I don't know where that's stuck on. So this fan goes this way. And we'll go ahead and put this back in. There should be some connectors. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, now you can hear me, probably. Uh, and then that just goes in, up. And then somehow this should click down onto the surface here. Um, oh, those have to go into. 
There we go. Right, so we have four pin in. And with the 24 pin the connector is gonna oh it does. It looks like this thing is meant to go in it though. I mentioned 2400. It's not a 24 pin connector. Or am I putting it in backwards? Stop the tripod. Square on top. So is it going like this? That's just a twenty pin connector. So the four pin needs to come off. There we go. There's only a 20 pin connector. Uh, we have some SATA adapter in here, so I'm just gonna go and remove that. I don't even think there's SATA ports on this motherboard, which there are not, so I don't even think we need that. Um, this has a new drive in here, because I believe the original Mac store drive was dying. Here, put this out. With my friend a while ago. So, um, then insert all this stuff in here. Screw it down, cross our fingers, and it boots. Is it going this way? Yeah, it does. Okay. So, there we go. Everything should be in. I have a modern one back here too to download PDFs and stuff on. I have instruction manuals and things. I don't think we've ever looked behind this thing to see if it power supply fan was running. So I mean, it probably ran it like that for a long time. Um, yeah, indeed it was not running. So we're gonna go ahead and replace it. I got some more towers to go through and see if they work or not. I'll be getting some more eventually from another friend. But uh, for now, I have these. I got last night, so I haven't really, really got to see anything. I haven't really gone through any of these yet. Well, that was perfect hitting the camera again. So I didn't hit it up, I hit it to the right positioning. So. side here. So see it's currently switched off. I've got a mouse and keyboard, PS2. for this thing around the back. So keyboard on this side. Okay, fire it up.
Put things in the optical drive. CDR. Oh, it's on there. He's going to find out. Performing automatic IDE configuration. There's me in the monitor. Hey guys. Here's like a peek inside the machine. They're running. It's a 2004 system. Uh, the F1 key, I don't have an F1 key on this keyboard, so um, we're gonna have to use a screwdriver to press it, which is why I brought back a small one. So. Okay, we got Windows XP. I think this was the system we set up for him that we attempted to play games on. Okay, so Let's see if I can adjust this CRT here. Actually, it's pretty acceptable, so that's fine. Okay, that's about as good as we're gonna get. It. So we're on true color. Let's see if I lower the resolution. I'm right, gonna get 85 hertz out of the monitor and see if that the camera likes that a little better. No, it doesn't. Okay, so 60 hertz is where we're going to stay. So yeah, it looks like we're good to go with everything here. We don't have speakers back here at the moment. I'll have to go grab some. Ah, uh, furnace just kicked on. Ah, uh, yeah, so now there's going to be some noise, but... It's an 18 gig card drive, so I have to put a new drive in here. Upgrade it, but uh, that's this computer. So, yeah, that is the Dell Dimension 2400 usability. Let's see what we got inside here. Uh, we got a Pentium 4 at 3 gigahertz. Okay. 512 megabytes of RAM. We have Intel and something graphics controller. Uh, we have our Pentium 4 and 3 gigahertz. I don't think this is a hyper threaded Pentium 4, like it says in the front. No, it's not. Okay, so the sticker on the front lies a little bit. Um, 
it says it's a Pentium 4 with hyperthreading. I might have to enable that, but um, I don't think hyperthreading is working at the moment. So let me go and restart, see if I can figure that out. See if we can figure out how to get the hyperthreading working. So I believe it's F2 to enter setup. Our refresh rate's all screwed up again. Thanks, monitor, for that one. Entering setup. Uh, I just got a Pentium 4 logo in the bottom corners. Okay, so here's our. Say, oh yeah, hyperthreading is indeed disabled. So now we should have hyperthreading enabled. Yeah, now we have the Pentium 4 with HD logo in the bottom corner. Now we should begin to start Windows XP. Uh, indeed, we do. I have to film this in 1080p because otherwise it's going to be gigantic. So I'm going to make a quick video on this thing. So. Yeah, there's XP. So, uh, cool, the Dimension 2400. I'll uh, we'll put that aside. That thing, or the 3000. Dimension 3000 is completely done. Uh, until next video, and then we'll take a look a little bit more in depth in this thing. So, there you have it. That's the Dell Dimension uh, 3000. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.